Hello everyone and welcome back to Pen Kitten Plays. Let's find out the Battle for the Bosphorus DLC. We are back in Greater Bulgaria. No, I think we're called the Third Bulgarian Empire now. So then, this is going to be my first recording with mods, as I have the State Transfer Tool and the Player-Led Peace Deal mod activated. I just personally enjoy those mods because, you know, Peace Deals and Hearts of Iron 4 do, are not exactly very good, and I like to, you know, uh, cheat. I like to cheat, basically, uh, when given the option. I don't try to do it unfairly, but I do try to do it just to make sure that uh, you get nice borders at the end of wars. But as you can see on your screen, we got Turkey accepts to join the Greater Bulgarian Federation. So I played on a little bit from the last episode. You can check the dates to see that uh, where I ended and where I began has is not a particularly long time. I just wanted to see what would happen if uh, Turkey would accept, and they did. So I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm just going to let them join in to our faction. Turkey will be on my side. We don't need to invade them. And instead, I am going to get my army prepared for an invasion of Yugoslavia. Why? Because at the moment, Yugoslavia is still neutral in all this. But if I attack them, because my only enemies are the allies, they will naturally join the allies, even though they are... Yeah, not aligned. Even though they're not aligned, they should reasonably join the allies, which will mean that they'll be at war with Germany, Hungary, and Romania. They'll all invade. The troops that are on my border will have to disperse, and we'll be fine. Meanwhile, we're just going to go ahead and you... Have all these troops come out early because I want a nice defensive front to begin with against these enemies. And we'll just continue on from there. Let's see, insufficient resources. Got it. And then what's with this? What's with two little aluminum? Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to wait for the Ottomans. No, the, not the Ottomans. The Turks. To get onto their border with Free France. And then they'll go ahead and invade down through the Levant. And probably Rhodes, maybe Cyprus, something like that. That'll be good for them. You go ahead and get an attack plan on Belgrade ready. You, I mean, it's useful enough. We don't want to be the aggressors because it is so mountainous in this territory. Everything's a hill, everything's a mountain, there's rivers running through it. It's a very bad place to try and attack. Hmm, what was that? I think there was a naval invasion planned against Greece that was called off or something. Meanwhile, just for in preparation, we might as well throw out all of them with all of that and a couple of those. A new fighter unit, go ahead and do pilot exercise. We'll launch soon enough, just wait until all the troops get into position. They are. Wait for... You are ready. Call to arms. The German-American War. Kind of weird, but okay. And you got a lot of troops on the roads. They're not going to have a good time. Meanwhile, we will just go ahead and... We got Annex and Puppet. Let's go for the Annex versus Puppet. It means nothing, basically. Well, we'll go for Annex, actually. You call to war. It really doesn't matter, just because... We'll let them attack me. Like I said, we'll let them attack me. Join the allies. Good, good. That's what I want. You can go ahead on your plan. Just because I have a feeling it'll be go fine. But for the most part, we just need to hold and defend. Don't let them take anything that uh, we don't want them to take. That kind of thing. How much longer in this fight? Less than a day. Mm. I could throw out last to stand, though. You go ahead and defend there. You, you're not, you're just being surrounded. Go ahead and go there and there. You, send one of your guys that way. Everything else should be fine. Hmm, they're attacking too quickly right here with these five divisions. The fact that they join the allies will force them to eventually give up these fights. Hmm, not a good attack up there. That's fine. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. You'll suffer the first wave and then the rest should be fine yeah let's go for it found the dvf and we got enough points now i need to bulgaris Bul hmm. i could send activities to you state is now a core state is no longer a core yugoslavia yeah i'd like that 
I think that's Macedonia and Southern Serbia. Oh, I'll win another five points for that. Here we search. Might as well get this. Right. And well, Yugoslavia is surprisingly in our favor. Weird. Go ahead and send you that way because we're attacking. Send you that way because we're attacking. Continue on. Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, now we can attack. Now we can go ahead and start pushing through these lines. Because they have completely gutted themselves. Yo, you guys having fun over there in the woods? You having fun, Bobby? Ten divisions just sitting on uh, Orgotia. There. We'll attack. Mm -hmm. Supply them. Take 60 days. I would like. I would just want that so it becomes a core, basically. Do attack that way. The entirety of this country will collapse. You attack. Try to get the Belgrade in time. It's mostly just kill Yugoslavia is the battle plan. They'll probably get reinforcements from the United States that's in Italy. We got uh, Brits over here in Turkey. And also the invasion is still going on in Syria. Situation's weird, yo. You, this is the, obviously the important location for you to attack. You, yeah, that's where you should be attacking. Good. You hold back. No, this won't hold back. In Viden. The attack to Belgrade. We probably won't make it all the way to Belgrade, but uh, taking over Morava, Kosovo. I think that'd be fine. Skopje is an important one to attack. No, no, not there. Not there. No, no, don't do that. Don't attack where they are. Attack where they're not. Come on. You guys know that. Everybody hold up about every once in a while. Hmm. They've mostly moved out of that port now. Go ahead and take it. Squap G is open. Go, 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 go. They're not holding these positions. Just take it. You guys take it. They're not going to do nothing about it. Just take it. Meanwhile, go ahead and... Ooh, we got enough army experience. Go and do it faster. Hungary has taken over most of Yugoslavia, including Belgrade. Unfortunate. We just need to come across here then. Put our own lines in the sand. Over here, the roads pocket's been filled. Good. Syria's been taken. Good. I would like for Macedonia to be my province, please. You just attack. Go ahead and kill these armies real quick. They're just chilling. Go ahead and kill them. Boom. Take to Pernithia. Yeah, so this is mine. Southern Serbia is mine. Go attack that way. Retaking what is ours in this world. You not sure why you've retreated from Northern Albania, but uh, take it back, please. Take it back now, y'all. You keep up here. You destroy them while they're just chilling. Yeah, there's our lines, and that that looks nice, right? The lands taken by Hungary is not, less nice, but it looks okay. I suppose, ooh, you are not our supplier anymore, okay. Let's get from Vichy France then. Jeez, if you're gonna be like that. Damn me to do something. Take that way, take that way. There we go, including some stuff. Aw, oh, they took over Montenegro and this place for some reason. And somehow there? I don't know. But they did. I don't, yeah, I don't know how that happened. But that's fine. So we'll just put our lines here. And I think we're gonna need to start splitting it up, so have you go that way. Do we have more generals? Yes, we can have Georgi Markov take over there. You. Again, general battle plan is just uh, push in. If we go to war against Hungary, then Italy took back some territory. That's nice, that's nice, that's... Ooh, that's hot. You, so this is currently just a claim of us. We've got the things we want. We've got southern Serbia. we got Morava. And we got Kosovo. We did not get the one, the last thing we wanted, which was Montenegro. And we lost a couple of exclaves here and there. Which I don't even know how that happened. Uh, we could get anti-tank, we could get anti-air, but I haven't 
started those to begin with. Uh, in here, I guess we could get signal companies if they're going to be cheap. We can get mechanized, and you know, for building mechanized. Here's just come along, Dutch East Indies, boom. Alright, so Hungary took over most of that. I don't know if you're like a good fit to hold that much territory. Germany got nothing. It all went to Hungary, and I guess what was claimed by Italy went to Italy. But everything else, we just need to be prepared for a potential invasion by the Americans or something. Go away, Legionary Romania, go away. Down here, the war in the desert continues. Wonder how that's going, by the way. Turkey, you take 16,000 casualties. Any casualty? Oh, no, 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 no. 32,000 taken by the United Kingdom from Turkey. British Raj is on the brink. I thought you already capitulated. No, I guess not. But the ring capitulated. Mexico, America. I wonder what America's been taken. Oh, God, a million point six. Uh, Third Bulgarian Empire. Yep, that's us. Nothing about Turkey's war, though. I would like to invade Hungary for no other reason than to prevent this. But now we can do something else. We can Bulgarianization of Thrace and Macedonia, which uh, turns them into core states, which is very good for us because we're low on manpower. But we'll just let that happen so we can get manpower back through it. British Raj has capitulated. I guess we could send some forces down to the desert to do some fighting. We're in a pretty good spot right now. Right in the middle of the action. We could uh, backstab Soviet Union, I guess. Doesn't really help us. And the Turks are having a good job in the desert anyway. They're doing fine. They're doing fine. They don't have any tanks or anything, but they're doing fine. A much better use of their time is clearly keeping their tanks as a... <laughs> a backup division. Yo, Vichy France. No, go away. I don't know how this happened. A lot of Hungarians on our border, probably just because the Hungarians don't have anything better to do. Unlike, say, the Romanians. It's been a year of the German invasion of the Soviet Union. It hasn't gotten very far, has it? He is it. As for you, uh, we can build some military factories there. We can build some radar stations up in Marava. How's everything? Kosovo doesn't have a lot of building. And that does Attica. Attica could be a good place for us to uh, build up. Just generally speaking. Into here, Bulgarianization blah, 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 of Thrace. I want to do as many of those as possible just because they have a good... Oh, Iceland joined the... <laughs> the Germans, which I always find just hilarious. Why do they explicitly join the Axis? They're a severely democratic nation. Like, from what I can understand, the UK did attack, like, invade Iceland and occupy it, but it's not because they joined the Axis. It's just because the they were kind of related to Denmark, but also kind of independent similar to how ice, um, Greenland is today. But it's just real, it's a bit silly. It's a bit silly that democratic Iceland is still, <laughs> is, uh, in the Axis. Imagine if democratic Iceland becomes a super main power. Then you have to fight democratic Iceland to defeat the Axis. You, so you're, yeah, you're, oh, you're not on that kind of exercise. You're on the other kind of exercise. The XR size for bacon. We have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of CVs. And 55 TAC bombers. Well, I can just increase that up to 50 then. Got our factories. Hmm, we can put more on medium tanks. Medium tanks are always good. When? Well, let's see. If we, uh, if we don't have support from the Allies, if we don't have support from the Soviet Union, at the point where we... Oh, hello there. You've uh, taken over the Suez. But we can't attack Cairo because the Italians took it. I see, I see. Well, I mean, an invasion of their territory seems like it's an order then. As for us, Bulgarization of Central Macedonia is another 16 days. The... You. Has this become a core yet? Occupied state? No, just a claim. I guess it didn't work. My plans. They've been thwarted. 
Some uh, compliance at least 30%. I see, I see. They used to have high compliance. Let's do our organized territories. Kingdom, the compliance is off the charts. Yugoslavia, it's coming up. It's coming up, it's there. Albania is 100%. We'll be able to core Albania then. You, medium tank one versus medium tank two, which has the heavy tanks. You can have, engineer company would allow, hmm, signal companies, hmm, hmm. I think maybe the rocket artillery company in that division. Although, do I, even, do I even have any of those yet? I do not. What kind of construction do I have for them? Medium tanks, weapons, weapons. Light tank, low production, medium tank, low production. Okay, what happened here? I see, you're only providing us with what you can give us. Past that, there is neutral Sweden. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. A neutral... Mm, yeah, that, that becomes a problem. What kind of... Subjugate Turkey? I would need to have a larger... Uh, I would need to have more army than Turkey, if I was going to do that. We invest in Turkey. Hmm... Set a provisional government, which is only an American thing. Interesting, interesting. So let it continue. Prussia of the Balkans, please. If you don't mind me saying. 92,000. Oh yeah, one thing I can do is I can come into this division and give it the military police. As it should. You, with your tanks. I can also start building towed artillery. No, wait, rocket artillery. It's already towed, by definition. You, free dockyards. Uh, just more convoys, please. There's no one really in this world who would particularly help us with that, except maybe Japan. Japan might want to. But the Allies are usually the ones who go gung-ho for sending you stuff. So we've been cut off down here. We could attack something like Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Iran. Just to give, just to feed Turkey. Not the most important thing in the world, though. Really, at this point, it just comes down to invading the Axis to get what we desire. Decisions, decisions. Attica. Oh, Attica. Hello there. Yes, I'll do that, please. I will just go ahead and... Because Epirus, Attica, and Thrace. So you are... Ooh, look at that member! We're already pretty good on manpower. Blitzkrieg versus mobile infantry. Blitzkrieg is obviously the best. Well, preferable. And then we can go for desperate defense for a more recruitable population. Five more recruitable population and some guerrilla tactics. I'm a gorilla. I'll take that. Tungsten. Come from you, and that's fine. So if we got the manpowers, now it's just a matter of... Uh, Yes, yes, I'll build some of those because that's the heavy division. Kind, yeah, kind of. It's the heavier division. I'll build some more of these. Two more of those. And then I just need a lot of infantry. Just a lot of infantry. Up to 12. Give me like four of those. So two more armies worth of infantry. Will I have the manpower for it? Not yet. But soon, well, I'll have it soon. After I completely Bulgarianize everything in my path. We're already doing Epirus in there. Hmm, where's the option to do Albania? South Macedonia, Macedonia, Attica. It'd be nice if I could do Albania, because that's just an occupied state. It's a core of Greece, though. You, ah, thank you. Ah, you're going to pay me to invade you, and how nice. Still the problem of Cyprus. And Italy's done pretty well for itself down here. Turkey, what are you up to now? Where are you sending your troops? A lot of them just sitting around. Any battle plans? You might have plans to try and invade there. Go away, logistics company. I'll take that, I'll take that. 1943. Yeah, it's an important year to start doing some of this stuff. Really, my problem is going to be sustained. The fact that we're still at war with the Allies and have no particular way of actually preventing that in any uh, useful way. In here, uh-huh, uh-huh. Build up some military factories everywhere you go. 
Macedonia. The proper Bulgarian land. We could still purchase equipment from the Germans before we attack them. We can influence the Turkish government. We can try and subjugate Turkey. We can try to influence Romania to join us instead of dying. Naval invasion in Asia Minor. Interesting. I'll take whatever you got. I like your funny words, magic man. What does this need? Requires all the following. So I need to go through Military Academy and Supremacy of the Bosphorus. Supremacy of the Bosphorus, Invasion Time, Turkey Gain, Supremacy of the Bosphorus, Invasion Time. Interesting, they both get it. Anything else? We do have expanded resources there. We could go for the foreign companies, see if we can get anything from the Germans. Free France is invading. Well, it's more likely the Americans, but you know what I mean. Still a large force there. See what options we have for coring. Ma ah, there we go. Macedonia and southern Serbia. Give me the cores. Give me the cores, boy. Cores light. Ooh. Crete has been taken. So you naval invaded somehow. I don't know how, but you did. And it shows. Meanwhile, hmm. Just all along this line, do not like what I'm seeing. Although the sheer act of me sitting here seems to be enough to keep them at bay. Or to have the troops that I think would join in in that kind of war. I have enough points. I might want to purchase maybe some Germain armor. Purchase heavy tanks for 10 heavy tanks. Purchase 20. Yeah, I'll purchase some. That's fine. It's going to be a while anyway. Yeah, yeah. Fall of Pearl Harbor. What do I really need? Because purchasing more... Okay, we're pretty high on everything. Except for motorized and... Because of the way things are going. Agrarian populace, just... Just hunger them out, it's fine. New Zealand has capitulated. You go away. We could try like a naval invasion of Italy? Well, United States territory. That is Italy. There's Pelopon Northern Epirus and the Peloponnese. I will take both. The more manpower we can get, because this is all of our this is all of our manpower base now. At least it's becoming it. You don't have to uh, worry about other things. You I've got free dockyards, but I have no you know, no navy. I could try to build a navy. I could I could try that. Streamlined Yes please. Hmm. You. I like how even those, even though all of this is my cores, and like, no, you can't, you can't bring them out there. You can't do that. It's impossible. You there. Good, good, good. You know what? This would be a good. Okay, I don't have the army experience. I was gonna say it would be a good time to switch to forty uh, combat with divisions, but we ain't got, we ain't got the money for that. We ain't got the money for that. I do have an army experience guy. And we can't really invade anything because I don't have a navy. 84% leadership against them. Hmm. We know exactly how much men they have. They have 500,000. Uh-huh, okay. We have 400,000. We would need a larger military if we were going to say, You must submit to my power. Yeah, you, I I really do want to give you the support rocket artillery, because those are my breakthrough units, because they have the heavy tanks, so they're going to be slower than a typical division, but they're also much heavier. So these are going to be the ones that push. There are those that push and those that get pushed. I'll take that, you, five days until Macedonia and southern Serbia. I wonder if national focus is pressure. Okay, so I need to go through the academy. The academy. Before I can go for anything else. Moravia. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Bulgarization of Albania. Please and thank you. I don't think we're going to be able to Bulgarianize Morava. 
or Kosovo because they're partially taken over by um, Hungary. I think that's what I'm seeing. You. 1943 tanks. What would be good for... Oh yeah, medium tanks. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Medium tanks. Now we got our manpower. A, a, a decent supply of manpower, you would say. I can also purchase some military vehicles, armored cars. No, thank you. A hundred. A hundred, please. You. Attack bombers. Really? No, no CAS. That's interesting. You. Anti-tank. Artillery. Yeah, that's fine. And you? Okay, so the, the Turks got their battle plans. Don't have anyone really in ready to invade into Italian Africa if we needed to. We could always double cross the Soviets and let them die. Maybe go with an, al an Axis victory, but what's the fun in that, right? Oh god, we need steel. We need steel to steel. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Japan, Germany, Turkey only has six, so I need to, I need, I need to look at this. In terms of resources, okay, you got, you got some steel, and you got steel, because we have no real steel up here, meaning we're going to want to go ahead and say infrastructure. Put up the Peloponnese, that increases steel here by 10, steel by 1, steel by 10. If I build those up, anywhere with steel, anywhere with steel, you're already at full. Morava has steel, that's up 5. Err. Hmm. What do you have? Nothing? Peloponnese Islands. Would you like to... Would you like some pie? I would like the Aegean Islands. Sir, I would like that greatly. I know you fought for it, and it really makes more sense for you to have it, but still, I would like it for that steel. Go away, Vichy France. Mm. Uh huh, Sweden. Yeah, mm hmm. We got problems. Steel problems. What could I do with all these military factories if I don't have enough steel to produce them? Make more planes would be the solution. Move them away from things that require a lot of steel and move them towards things that require no steel. Like planes. That is the solution. If you can't build it, you can't build it, you know? You, pr you require steel... You require steel. You got good numbers. You got good numbers. Heavy tank. You provide. You need steel. You're pretty. Uh, you down. Now our steel is in control, only barely. And now our rubber is. Uh, now our rubber's got some problems. Got some problems right here. And you. Okay, we're getting in from Siam. Fair enough. And I do not believe we have any ability to actually increase it. Influence the Turks again. Uh, daily political power gain. Sure. If we just keep doing that, I guess. Subjugate. You acquire 50 points. Can lead to war. Well, they're already in the faction, you know. You know? You know? They're already in the faction, so what's the big deal? Eric Power. You go up 50. Need a larger air force. What can we really build in here? See a lot of attack bombers. Ah, oh, there we go. I see a lot of CAS. Boom, 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 boom. Go on to that. You on to that. You're good. You're good. Eh, both of you can pretty much go on to that. As for fighters, yeah, we got a decent amount of fighters. Oh, God. Nope, 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 nope. All of them plus eh, this many of these guys. Boom. Boom. With that, and with that, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next episode. Bye bye.